Good morning, good evening, good whatever time you're watching this at. Welcome to yet another Pipe Dream speedrun. This week's speedrun is creating a bot which uses GitLab and Browserless to leave previews of your website on your merge requests automatically. We'll be using GitLab as our version control system and Browserless, which is a browser as a service. You may have heard of Selenium or Playwright or Puppeteer, which are tools that allow you to programmatically create a browser and interact with websites. However, the downside of using these tools is you still have to download and install the Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer binaries. Browserless makes it easy to just interact with their system, not worrying about downloading Chrome, installing on your infrastructure, or creating a Selenium cluster, and then paying for it when you're not using it because it's running in the background. Yeah, and good luck installing it on Lambda. If you can figure that out, please let me know. All right, I digress. Let's get started building the workflow. Now, just a heads up, this is a little bit more involved. It might be a longer video, but trust me, it's well worth it. First off, here is our subject. It's a simple landing page that I created for this project. It's hosted by Netlify and it's just a regular HTML page. Nothing fancy going on here. We can look at the code real quick and we can just see it's a simple Tailwind powered HTML page. Let's pretend that we're making changes to this website and we make a very clear visual mistake. All of the automated tests pass because it's not a functional bug, but it's just a visual mess up. So I'm gonna change the background here, for example, from the image, like we expect it to be, and instead set the background color to uh, tomato, the most underrated color in my opinion. So we're gonna save this, and we're gonna pretend we didn't realize we made this huge mistake and it makes the whole page look weird. So we're going to create a new branch for this change, and we're gonna call it whoops, and we're going to push it to our origin All right, now it's pipe dream time. I created a brand new workflow. I'm gonna set the trigger to be a new merge request opened up on GitLab. So I'm gonna open up the GitLab app. I'm gonna search for the new merge request, which will be triggered whenever a new merge request is created on my repository. I'm gonna connect my GitLab account, and then I'm gonna select my project, which is called speedrun number 14, this particular episode. So we'll call it a new merge request on speedrun 14. Perfect. So now our source has been created. It's waiting for a new event. Let's trigger it by creating a new merge request. So I've headed on over to GitLab. And this is my speedrun sample repository, which contains the code I just showed you. And we're gonna create a brand new merge request referencing that branch I called whoops. Create the merge request um, and then just simply submit that. Nothing fancy going on here. And we'll head back to Pipedream and hopefully we'll see a new event being emitted. Look there. So GitLab triggered my workflow and now I can play with this event, a new merge request from the oops branch. I've selected that and I can see that there's a bunch of data. The next step in the workflow is to create a browserless step so we can take a screenshot of the web page. I'm going to add a new step, search for browserless, and use the take a screenshot option. Now it's as easy as just connecting our browserless account. So you should just have to head on over to the browserless dashboard and copy your API key. I've already created one, so I'm just gonna reuse my connected account. And then we just define the URL where the web page lives. How do we do that? Well, if you look over into the Netlify area and look in deploys, you'll see that there's a new deploy preview for every single time you create a merge request. Here's the latest one for oops. So I'm gonna open the deploy preview and you can see that there's this special format of the URL where right after deploy preview, you'll see this number. Well, that number corresponds with the number with the ID of the merge request. So this is the third merge request created in this sample repository. So that lines up with the deploy preview number three in the URL. You may notice I copied the URL from Netlify. So I'm gonna paste it in here and we can use it statically, but we probably should reference the merge request number by ID, just so that this works in future merge requests. And how do we find this number? Well, if we look under the object attributes area, you could see this special value called the ID, the integer ID, and we'll select that path. 
and then we can cut this out and then we can just replace the static value with that. So now this workflow will work with future merge requests. All right, so let's go ahead and test this. Perfect. Browserless went ahead and opened that URL and took a screenshot and returned the screenshot as a base64 encoded string. Now next, I wanna take this image and then make a comment on my merge request. The next step is to actually upload the image to GitLab so then we can reference it in a comment. I'm gonna show you a little preview of an action that's not published yet. I created it to my own account, but it will be available in the registry soon. And I'll add the code into the description of the video so you can use it yourself. So all I have to do is select our GitLab account, select the project ID that we're playing with, which is the speedrun project. And the file to upload is the base64 encoded string, right? So we'll look at our step data and we'll look at the browserless take a screenshot section and select the screenshot. Now that's the actual file itself. And then we'll just name this file image.ping because I know it's always gonna be a ping file. We can click test to see if this will actually upload the file to GitLab and GitLab should return a path for us to use in a comment. Great. So we can see here there's a markdown path that shows us exactly the markdown we need to use in order to access that file we just uploaded to GitLab. So I'm gonna add one final step, which is to actually leave a comment on the merge request. Once again, I'm going to use one of my personal built custom components, but I'll merge this into the repository as soon as possible. It's called create a new merge quest thread. I'm gonna select my GitLab account once again, select my project ID, which is the speed run of course, and then I'm going to reference the merge request integer, which is the same path that you saw before within the trigger. It's under object attributes, and it's just the IID. Then I'm going to select the body of the message, which should be automatically generated for us within the upload project file. There's a markdown path, which GitLab conveniently makes for us. I'm gonna click test. And as it goes through this last step, we should be able to return to the GitLab, look at our merge request, and see a brand new comment with our screenshot. So if we open our GitLab merge request, we can even just scroll to the bottom here, see our comment with a giant screenshot that really shows our mess up visually. We don't have to open the deployment preview. We can just get a quick peek and make sure everything looks okay, which clearly it doesn't unless you're a huge fan of tomato and clashing colors. That about sums it up for today. I just wanna show you one last thing, which is the browserless use any API action, which allows you to change the code directly. So if you wanna make multiple screenshots, if you want to make sure elements exist, there's all kinds of things you can do with browser automation, and you don't have to worry about managing Chrome or any other browser binary. You can just use browserless and it works. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's medium run. It's a little bit longer than normal. Hopefully I didn't ramble too much, but just a small example to show you the possibilities of using GitLab and browsers together in a workflow without any code. Have a great day.